Sunderland fired a warning sign out to their promotion rivals that they're far from done in the battle for promotion to the champion. Lee Johnson's side put out a real statement of intent as they thumped Doncaster Rovers at the stadium. Charlie Wyke and Aidan McGeady were among the star players for Sunderland. Here are some of the key talking points as the Black Cats picked up their fifth league win under what a statement the Black Cats came flying out the box and looked full of confidence as they went two goals to the good inside 12. Lee Johnson made six changes to the side that was defeated by Shrewsbury in midweek and boy did it. Sunderland moved the ball with pace and went through the phases rather than aimlessly lumping it into the channel. Josh Scowen was particularly impressive as he took the ball under pressure in tight areas, as the energy of those two in midfield just moves the Black Cats higher up the pitch and forces the opposition into mistakes. They're also able to do the dirty work going back towards their own goal. It took Charlie White just half an hour to get his hat-trick in a brilliant first half performance. It could, and should have been four, only for Lyndon Gooch to squander a good shot. The hosts clawed one back after the breakthrough Elite Burjone goal. However, the Black Cats replied almost instantaneously with McGeady and White combining for the fourth time of the afternoon. Burge then saved from the spot to deny Rovers an opportunity to close the gap. Johnson's side put in a real gritty but brilliant performance to send out a statement to their League One rivals. Charlie White can't stop scoring he just can't stop scoring. White took his tally to 21 goals this season and became the first man to pass 20 since Darren Bent in 2009. His performance proved why Hess one of the hottest strikers in League One this campaign. Hess scored a goal every 123 minutes it took him just 30 minutes to take his goal tally to 16 in the league this season with three head. He added a fourth after the break combining well with McGeady once again. Charlie Wyke's Doncaster demolition in pictures, four-star show from Sunderland striker view gallery it was by no means the pick of the bunch, despite being slightly fortuitous. McGeady showed great pace down the left-hand side and found Wyke unmarked in them. His header had too much on it for Belcombe, a slight nick taking it over his head. Part of the Wearsiders' problems in League One has been the lack of goals, but Wyke is single-handedly carrying Sunderland's promotion chart. He showed great striker's instinct for all four headers, finding himself in exactly the right place at the right time. Aiden McGeady still has it. Wow. What a shift from the winger. The 34-year-old put in his best performance of this. He was simply incredible going forward this afternoon. The left winger had the beating of Brad Halliday, the Doncaster right back, on every occasion this afternoon and he wasn't the only Rovers player that McGeady, the former Republic of Ireland international claimed four assists. The best of those was the third, cutting inside from the left and dinking the ball into the path of Wyke who made no mistake with his header from eight yards out. McGeady could be heard pulling the strings from the press box and was simply brilliant all afternoon. Rovers could not live with him. If fans were in the ground he would have been given a standing ovation as he left the field. And Kirill Louis Dreyfus in attendance once again the prospective new owner was once again in attendance and was treated to a cracker at the Stadium of Light. The game had it all. Two penalties, two penalty saves, four assists for McGeady and four goals for Sunderland will also leave the pitch wondering how it wasn't more. The performance, in contrast to midweek, was one of their best of the campaign at one that will certainly give Louis Dreyfus food for thought moving forward. It showed that this current crop of black cats can battle it out with the top sides in the division. Louis Dreyfus' appearance once again brings takeover talk to...